Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So this is what I have done over the last few days. Um, it took me four days uh, to paint this and total of 12 hours, which means that it's gonna be rather long video. Therefore, I have decided to split it into four parts so it is um, easier to digest. What I have done different with this picture compared to the older ones that I have done for you guys is that I have used gouache for it and uh, I really took my time to assess and um, work in details and look at the details of my subjects. In our case, these are this uh, mother and baby giraffe. Now, um, this picture is not hyper-realistic, although I did want to achieve certain degree of uh, realism into it, but um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and uh, it was experiment uh, to do a little bit more in-depth, um, more detailed painting. And I think it have turned out well. So uh, this is part one and the next part will be uploaded over the next uh, few days. Make sure you watch the video throughout because as I am painting it, I am also uh, including some tips and um, things that I have learned along the way. I hope that uh, this um, series of four videos uh, will be of use to you and uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments below um, what you wish I have done better and um, also what you think of the overall piece. I will be doing soon a um, video in which I'll be talking more about gouache. I just want to experiment a little bit more with it and see. But for now what it seems to me is that uh, it is a great medium for anyone and especially for beginners because it really allows you to take your time and uh, work on your piece without wondering that it's gonna dry out and that's it, you cannot move the paint anymore. So let's progress to the actual video. So we're going to be starting today with a sketch of um, those uh, giraffes and um, yeah I have my reference photo here, I've got my uh, gouache paints, mixing palette which I'll most probably need for this piece and water and my dad's old t-shirt of course and some brushes. So I'm gonna just locate my reference here. I believe this is a free, free reference photo that I have found um, on a website or a group, I'm not sure. And um, I did a sketch um, out of it. And uh, now I'm ready to start painting. Um, I'll try to think of a way, if you guys want me to um, include the outline in a PDF file or something. I'll think of a way of doing this. Um, I have taken um, a photo of this one that I could probably turn into a PDF file and um, yeah, attach it somewhere, but I'm not sure where since, yeah, um, I don't think YouTube allows um, attachments. But yeah, I'll think about it and let you know. And I think we're gonna be starting with the background and I'm gonna do the background loose, just something like um, watercolor, I think. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, let's see what's gonna happen if we do this. Ah, too much paint. <laughs>
You know what? I'm going to grab some salt. I'm coming back in a second. Okay. Here is the salt. Let's try it. Okay, we will let it dry now and see after that what has happened. Okay, so the experiment with the salt didn't turn out the way I expected it to, but it's actually not bad, it gave some texture. I don't know whether or not that's supposed to work together as a watercolor, but it was worth trying. Maybe I'll give it another try soon, but um, yeah, I think this is gonna be alright for this painting. And um, now we can start painting the giraffe. So I think this brush will be okay for me. It might be a little bit too large, but let's see. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this white. And uh, mix it with those grayish colors that I already have on here. And let's start with this and see. Maybe I'll have to lighten it a bit, but we'll see. Yeah, I think this is a little bit too grayish, but yeah, we can always build it up later. Or maybe now. Maybe I need a bit more ochre in my white. Let's see, we're just experimenting, so it doesn't really matter. So I have done my darks 
and uh, now I'm gonna start working uh, on the patterns um, on my giraffe so um, it looks to me like um, it is uh, ochre color mixed with a little bit of this brown and then I mixed a bit of uh, this like burnt sienna or whatever it is and let's try and see how it's gonna look like the good thing is that we can always change it later but um, yeah let's try it I think I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow ochre.
This is the end of part one of me painting this picture. If you'd like to see the rest of my uh, process, then make sure to check the description box below where I'll include the remaining three parts of it. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.